I'm convinced that there's no such thing as an overnight success. I believe it's a fallacy, a myth to believe that overnight in 24 hours that someone can turn into a worldwide phenomenon. And once a lady was in a marketplace and she saw Picasso and she went up to Picasso and she said, Picasso, can you draw me a portrait? He said, sure, I'll draw you a portrait. He reached for a pen and paper and he, in 30 seconds, sketched an identical portrait of this lady and handing it back to her, he said, that will cost you $30,000. And she replied, she said, Picasso, how can you charge me $30,000? That took you 30 seconds. He said, it took me 30 years to be able to do that in 30 seconds. And it's amazing how that time, that unforgotten, that invisible world beyond the bottom of the iceberg, underneath the water, the part you don't see is actually what made what you see today possible. When you look at the definition of a failure in the English dictionary, it's defined by three words, lack of success. But that means we don't value learning. It means we don't value growth. It means we don't value experience and struggle. Our obsession with winning means that we're actually letting go of all of that which we could be learning at every single point. Since I was a young boy, I've been enamored with stories of failure from biographies and autobiographies and books about people who changed the world and books about people who changed other people's world. There was a young cartoonist and all the editors and newspaper journalists said that he lacked natural talent. They rejected him and after countless rejections, it was actually a church minister who gave him an opening to start drawing little cartoons in the back of a church in this small little shed. And this gentleman, he once saw a mouse running around and believe it or not, that was the birth of Mickey Mouse. That was Walt Disney, that cartoonist who went on to win 22 Academy Awards. There was a young man who was actually cut from his high school basketball team. He went home, he shut the door, slammed it shut and actually cried for the rest of the evening. And Funnily enough, he went on to become a six-time NBA champion, a five-time MVP player in the NBA, and he's no other than the person we call Michael Jordan. And can you believe it that the person who's revered as one of the best players of all time was missed? That coach missed him, they missed his potential, and I'd love to speak to that coach now and see what they think of that. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. Imagine this lady was told that she wasn't fit for television. She was told that she would never make it online or on TV. Her name's Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> she became the most influential woman in the world. This has to be my favorite failure story of all time. I mean, his fiance died. He failed in business. He had a nervous breakdown. And on top of all of that, he failed and lost in eight elections. He went on to be the 16th president of the United States of America. His name's Abraham Lincoln. I actually believe that failure has the ability to lure success. Countless failures are almost doorkeepers to success. And every time you walk through one door, the gate gets bigger and the lock gets tighter and it gets that much more difficult because we're being tested for our genuineness and our authenticity and our real desire to chase that goal, a real desire to actually embody the values that are needed to almost take responsibility for that success, to take responsibility for that position and the influence it brings with it. And therefore, if you've never failed, you've never really tried anything new. I really want you to get involved in this conversation and this dialogue as we think out loud together about our minds in this world. So please join and subscribe today. Look forward to you joining me.